to Enugu, where some citizens are calling for a change in the security strategy of the federal government. They believe it is expedient due to rising cases of banditry, insurgency, and the presence of killer headsmen in communities. Others are the view that the prescription of the indigenous people of Biafra was not necessary, and Bamidele Ajayi has more. These are critical times in Nigeria where a growing disharmony is beginning to drive political conversation with ethnic coloration, sometimes dominating national discourse. These and many more are debated with months of organized sit at home order, agitation of the separatist agenda of the indigenous people of Riafra, demanding for a secure environment. We're one part of the country where it's okay for the proliferation of arms and light weapons. Circulation is very clear. I mean, it's visible sometimes, like you could see, uh, maybe online, a small boy practicing how to shoot. And you begin to see, like, someone that's from that part of the country defending it. This thing should not be so. Our people must begin to stand to call a spade a spade and not a family implement. The new executive of the APES Pan Igbo Social Cultural Group, one is in Digo, wants a peaceful approach to the summary crisis. The Igbo nation in Nigeria is not at war with Nigeria and has nothing pending before any institutional authority in Nigeria or international that demands a separate existence from Nigeria for Igbo. And like him, we are all therefore the dilemma together. The quest to ensure the protection of Igbo land territorial boundary against external invasion has been agitated by IPOP. These people say the present reality vindicate the separatist group. And you keep wondering, how can the farmers busy on their farms? Maybe you have your home. How can you be clashing with somebody with a rifle? What really concerns a header that is to turn the cattle with like the kind of rifles we see them parade? There's no way you would uh, treat, beat a child and beat a child and beat a child, the child will not cry. You know, so I think that uh, the response you, you you're getting from uh, the IPO people is more like a natural reaction to how they've been treated. They want the federal government to pay urgent attention to insecurity and avert another avoidable civil hostility in the country. Bamidila Jai, TVC News, Enugu. Well, 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 great viewers of my time. Thank you so much for being part of that video, listening to that video. It's true that we, the Igbos, we live everywhere. But we are not living in people's forests. And that is why we said nobody should live in our forest. Especially in a country where the president is Boko Haram. We have to be sincere to ourselves. When president said that people came in, coming to our land to kill us are Fulani from outside the country. This same president was the person that openly volunteered and asked the Fulani worldwide to come into our country that is their living place, that is their country. Without any sign of identification, today that same president is talking nonsense. They think they can intimidate us with those soldiers, they are wasting their time. Well, I thank God that people are beginning to understand that what Mazen Nadikala has been saying is the truth. The video you just watched, or just listened to, is all about some people in Biafra land and Igbo nation in Biafra land. They are beginning to understand, I agree with Mazen Nadikala, that the Biafrans have not been treated well. Great viewers of my time, thank you so much. Please drop your comment in the comment section, share this news, and stay blessed. Cheers.